that situation is very hot. Well, the hottest selling electronics this year, though, smart home devices that connect cameras, doorbells, and more with a voice-activated controller like Amazon's Alexa. I have one, you I have do. one too, but tonight consumer reporter John Matarese looks into what Alexa is really <laughs> hearing and how much of your private information are you putting at risk so you don't waste your money. Smart homes are here to stay. Many tri-staters now have an Amazon Alexa or Google Home system, and they're adding video doorbells and other automation features. But how can you make sure you're keeping your family safe and not sharing your most private moments with the world. It all started with Amazon's Echo. Alexa, play some soft music. Soon we were using voice assistants to ask who's at the front door and adjust the lights. Alexa, set kitchen lights to 100%. Okay. And they all come on 100%. Now, two years later, digital assistants are flying off the shelves here at Best Buy, loved by busy moms like Amanda Compton. It does a lot of work for you when you have kids. It kind of helps out a lot. The first thing you'll notice when you're looking at smart home devices is that there's two different universes. You've got Google Home and you've got Amazon's Echo. Alexa comes in many safe shapes and sizes. Which is better? Best Buy's Brian Gibson says it's really just personal choice. You have the Google Home. Both sell for around $100 and will control cameras. You have the outdoor camera, the indoor cameras. Your thermostat. You say, hey Google turn the temperature down to 65 degrees. Smart lights, even smart door locks, but some security experts are sounding the alarm. Okay, if someone could break into, let's say your washing machine and then break into your door lock, they could potentially unlock your house. IT consultant David Hatter says one week link can let a hacker watch your video cameras, maybe even access your bank account. If you just go out and buy, tomorrow, buy a Nest thermostat and plug it in and don't change any of the settings, you're ripe for hacking. Hatter says to protect yourself, change the default password on every smart device. Put the PC used for banking on a separate Wi-Fi network if possible. And keep Alexa out of your bedroom because you can't be 100% certain it's not listening. Are they always listening? Well, that's debatable. This has been all over the map. In theory, they're not recording things until you say whatever the activation phrase is. Best Buy's Brian Gibson says the good news is you can tone down the technology, such as setting locks so they won't open doors by voice. It won't unlock your door. And that might give you some peace of mind. So don't fight the trend, just like with smartphones and home computers a decade earlier, it's not going away. But take security precautions every step of the way so you don't waste your money. I'm John Matteries, 9 on your side.